I'm still just a good dinosaur, and if you are new to the channel, we are trying to, well I should say I, I am trying to recreate Animal Crossing into The Sims 4, and I've been slowly working my way around. I've been letting the community pick out the villagers, and now we are moving on to the NPCs for this video, and then I think the next video we will do another villager. So stay tuned to see how you can get your favorite villager to be part of the village we're creating on The Sims 4. So we're gonna start with our homeboy Blathers. As per usual, I usually use their Japanese name as their last name. Uh, Blathers has an interesting Japanese name. If you know, you know. Moving on. Um, he was, I say he was one of the more easier ones to make in my per personal opinion. Just because he's more straightforward, it's easy to pick out more traits. A lot of villagers, I have trouble picking out some traits. I'm just looking through right now just to see which ones would probably be best for him. Um, I should have changed his fears because he doesn't like bugs and you can actually put in dislikes. I wonder if I could put in dislikes. He does not like bugs. So I don't know if that's a thing in The Sims 4 about not liking bugs, but I might go back and check it out and see later on. I'm originally, I was thinking about going with a sweater because it kind of matches what he looks like in the game. But I thought it just looked too big on him and I don't really like the look on him. I swear it's cute and all, but I didn't, it was not going with the vibe, because he is the museum, uh, I don't know what they're called, curator? No. I don't know what it's called. It's not a head museum person, but you, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, so that was the main issue about his whole outfit style. I don't know, it's pretty easy, because he, I mostly picked warm browns and stuff like that, because it kind of matches his aesthetic. And I changed the glasses to, instead of the round glasses, to the more squarish look, so he didn't look too much like Harry Potter. And I will keep making jokes, you're a wizard, Blathers, but anyways, moving on. Um, I wish some things Sims 4 will let you do is when you build something, like, like in the future video we're gonna do, um, the Able Sisters shop. I wish I can actually have them own the shop. Unfortunately, I can't, because I build it and it doesn't count for them. It's just a standalone shop run by NPCs of the game, so I'm kind of sad about that. I can't actually have them be work there. Same with Blathers. I can't actually have them work at the museum, which kind of sucks. I wish you can actually sign them. I think you might be able to do it through cheats, maybe. I don't know for sure. I don't know how much that depth of The Sims 4. I never really explored this. It's the first time I'm doing any kind of series like this, where I'm actually like building stuff like this. And plus, I hate the museum. The museum, I really want to burn it down to the ground. I really hate that build I build. It's my least favorite of all the builds. There's a lot of things I want to do in The Sims 4, but I realize the restraints you have on the game, plus being on Xbox, doesn't really help. I can't really add mods or anything to it, so I can't really do a lot of things I really want to do. But I can only use what I got. That's, I guess, part of the challenge. Bah! I'm not sorry for burping. If you're new here, I burp like a demon. Hey, anyway, horror. Um, moving on to Tom Nook. I will show all their final looks at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the end of the video. Moving on to Tom Nook. Let <laughs> me say the random characters that The Sims 4 generates for you in the beginning of the game when you're making your sim. Like, oh, what the hell do they create? And none of the outfits. Well, actually, his outfit looks good. Just the cut, like, everything else doesn't really match too well. But, you know what, that's fine. Any whore. Um, I guess most of the NPCs are pretty easy to make because they're very straightforward on the things. And Tom Nook's probably easy, has an easy ambition with his, um, wealth, material wealth. Even though we pegged Tom Nook as a bad guy he's not really that bad of a guy okay he's just a businessman doing businessman things he's not as bad as some businessmen we know i can elaborate more on that but enough about talking about if tom nook is gonna break your nico nico kneecaps or not for tom nook i decided to mix up like quite a few different kind of styles for the his main look i kind of went with the new horizons since that's what i'm basing most of the village off of and I'm also pulling in other, um, his other outfits he wore throughout the games. Um, I think the only one I don't really re reference is his, his, like, the original OG Animal Crossing outfit. 
but I mostly stuck with like Hawaiian shirts, his sweaters he wore, stuff like that. His his more like vesty look he had. Tom Nook had a lot of different outfits, so it kind of made it kind of easy to actually work on him a little bit more than the others. Blathers just kind of had one design, really. He didn't really wear... Did he wear clothes? Is Blathers naked this whole entire time? Oh my god. Up next on the roster is our favorite demon slayer, Isabella, who might be married to the Doom guy. I don't know if that's true or if that's just... Stuff that happened, be I don't know what was going on there. Uh, anywho, uh, Isabella, I had a little trouble with like what kind of ambition I want to do for her, so I kind of went, I think, in the end with city life where she wants to explore and do things because it seems like an Isabella like aspiration. I don't know what else to give her because, like I said, we're kind of set in the Sims 4's boundaries, not in the Animal Crossing boundaries, so I had to go with that. Her other traits were kind of easy to kind of decide what I want to do. It's just deciding which ones, because Isabella could fit in a lot of with these traits. So, it's kind of easy to pick. Isabella also kept with the theme of, like, cottagecore for some reason. I don't know. I just felt like she was kind of like that cottagecore girl. I kind of went with mixed outfits of her, like, OG sweater look, because it's not really a good Hawaiian shirt that matches with her New Horizon character. So, I kind of went with her other outfits she wears throughout the game and in previous games. Moving on from Isabella. I really want to include Brewster in this series. I don't know why. I never really experienced Brewster before in Animal Crossing New Horizons because I kind of stopped playing the game after Brewster was introduced, so I don't really know much about his personality besides the fact that he's very particular about coffee and stuff. And unfortunately, in um, Sims, you can't really pick a cafe master like that. So I picked a mix mixology aspiration for him and picked like a proper traits and stuff like that. I try to keep Brewster as close as possible to what he looks like, as of course with the rest of the NPCs. Um, I was able to get the nice green color he had almost the same color. His is more of a minty color. This is more of an aqua color in my opinion. I don't know. I'm just saying shit this sound a little bit smarter. Or creative. I don't know what I'm going for anymore, guys. This series has been a road coaster. Moving on for my <laughs> dilemma. Um, I wouldn't say he's the hardest character I made so far, but he is not the most challenging either, but he was a little bit more out of the box. <laughs> I'm a little bit more Burp City, okay, guys? I'm not sorry. But, moving on from Brewster. Next up was the Able Sisters. And we're starting off with Sable, who is one of my favorite, actually, NPC characters. I don't know why. I connect to, with her. And I love the fact that if you keep talking to her and pushing past her, like, cold exterior, then she kind of warms up to you and, like, looks forward to you coming to talk to her. So, it was something I did, like, long before. I always try to talk to her in every game. I played an Animal Crossing, and it just it's just something that sticks with me throughout my childhood. I love her. She's one of my f favorites. And I kind of give her, like, the cottage core with, like, a little bit of edginess. I don't know why I say the free range with them, with the sisters for some reason. And they're going to look very sim. No, they're not going to look similar, actually. I lied. I thought I changed that idea of make them look very similar, but decided to switch them up a little bit. Um, I was thinking about making label at one point, but I don't th I think I ran out of room in the family to make it well, wasn't Sims family to make label It would have been a fun thing to do is make a uh, label, but Didn't get around to it. Maybe this video hits a number of likes or something like that Or if we if you guys comment enough, I don't know. I'm trying to be a youtuber, but I don't know how I don't like asking subscribe Moving on to the next sister is Mabel. I've been waiting an hour to record this part. I just want you guys to know because there's assholes outside my house doing lawn work. What the audacity they have. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you can't tell the sarcasm in that, I'm joking. But anyway, um, next sister we're working on is Mabel. And there's not really much to say because I made her... Uh, main outfit look almost exactly like uh sables 
and just a little different to color tones because it kind of matches with her theme of the blue and green. I try to stick as close as I can to the, their color combinations and stuff like that. Like Sable's more red, she's more of a green and uh, blue. Well, Mabel's, Sable is also pink and like a radish color. Uh, I would like to make label in the future. I think she'd be a fun uh, sim to make. Again, I wish Sims 4 would let me actually sign these two girls to have the shop I create for them later on, but unfortunately the game won't let me let them have it because it's considered a community lot and I didn't like go in the game and buy it for them, which I should have did that for them so then at least they can work it and stuff like that, but that requires too much work for a series I'm probably never going to come back to, or maybe I will, who knows, maybe we'll switch out the the villagers out with other characters and stuff like that. Maybe some will move in together. Maybe we'll play some. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. What would you like to see more of in this series? Do you want more after this is all done? Like content from it? Or do you just don't care? It's alright if you don't care. You just type that down in the comments. And now we come to the part you all probably been waiting for. The full outfit reveal. Dini. So here are the final reveals of all the characters and I so far I'm happy with all of these guys. There's not a lot of outfits I don't really like. Um, probably my least favorite would probably be Tom Nooks and Brewsters. I should have, I kind of want to go back and fix them now and look, go, look like blah blah blah. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Anywho, um. I kind of want to go back and fix them because I don't feel like I put too much effort in those two Brewsters and Nooks uh, outfits and I kind of wish I did. I kind of went with more funny for Tom Nook but you know it happens it happens maybe I'll go back and change it up. I really want to do um, if there's enough room in the future I want to do uh, Tim and Tommy too and I want to do a label and maybe a few other NPCs that I really like to include in the game. Maybe um, Rossetti, even though he's not really part of the new horizon, he's just there to help you if you need it. Um, Isabella's outfit, I went back and changed out actually because I was not too happy with it in the end. And her whole complete design, I tried to like mimic her ear doggy ears and her little bun on top but it does get the point across and I enjoy her outfits a lot along with um, Mabel and Sables. They're, those are probably my two favorite ones. Again, Brewsters. I kind of wish I put a little bit more effort into his outfits. It was more like sometimes you get tired of making so many sims at once and you lose that motivation to make the out like them look good. And it's kind of hard when you're limited with the sims clothes because a lot of sim clothes don't really match in a lot of the colors. I wish they could change that in the game in the future. Maybe in Sims 5 they'll make the game where like everything matches a little bit better or you can kind of change and customize things a little bit more like say that pink top doesn't really match the other pink shorts you got going on so you can kind of like switch it out a little bit more and have them color coordinate a little bit better but I hope you guys enjoy this series and if you have a favorite villager you want to include into the series uh, comment down below and then make sure you subscribe to the channel because then we can and then you can keep track of when we put the poll on our community tab and then you can vote for your favorite. Oh, they're back. They've been doing this for hours. Fuck my life. Enjoy the rest of this series. Fuck I mean video. Fucking hell. It's fucking asshole bitches. I'm joking. They have a right but I still they're noisy as fuck.